Good evening. This is the 37th time I have spoken to you from this office where so many decisions have been made that shape the history of this nation. I'd like to talk to you. I really would. My lawyer says I shouldn't left the Watergate trial. You handed out the money. Maybe there's a legitimate explanation for the way that it was done. Then again, maybe things are even worse than we've written. They're worse. That's why I quit. I'm trying to understand this. I'm a decent Republican. I believed in Richard Nixon. I worked in the White House for four years. So did my wife. What happened on June the 17th, I'm not sure the president knew anything about. His men, I'm not so sure of. Do you think the truth will come out of the trial? That's another thing I'm not so sure of. Because the people at the committee were told to lie to the prosecutors? We were told flat out, don't talk. But the message was clear. To cover up? We didn't exactly come forward and tell the truth. Does they mean the White House? As opposed to the committee? The committee's not an independent operation. Everything is clear for the White House. I'm not sure the FBI or the prosecutors understand that. The report in the cash in the Morris Stand safe, the 350,000, is that true? No. It was closer to. It was close to 700,000. I wish you could put it on paper where it's like. You come to Washington because you believe in something. And then you get inside. And you see how things actually work. And you watch your ideas disintegrate. The people inside. The people in the White House, they start to believe they can suspend rules because they're fulfilling a mission. And that becomes the most important thing. The mission. It's so easy to lose perspective. We need to get out before we lose ourselves altogether. 